the 90s, the decade that many people look back on with fondness and nostalgia, especially the 80s and 90s babies, born between 1980 and 1994. So in the modern world, why is this decade held in such high regard compared to the other decades? There has been a campaign of 90s throwbacks engineered by the people who cherish this decade the most. Millennials, we just refuse to let this decade go. You ever notice that the baby boomers and Generation X love and appreciate their respective eras of adolescence? But you hardly ever hear them talk about the 60s and 70s as aggressively and feverishly as millennials do. The 90s. And I believe I know the reason why. And that reason is the expansion of pop culture and the craze that ignited the whole commercialized world that changed everything forever. The commercialization of pop culture drove our society into a decade of mass consumerism. Every cartoon that was on television was like a 30 minute commercial for the latest toy line. These toys and cartoons would spawn video games and movies. These movies produced soundtracks, and the soundtracks created music videos that would dictate the radio waves. The cycle of entertainment seemed limitless. Now speaking of music, this was an interesting time for music in general. The music industry was very diverse at the time. We had grunge, British pop, industrial rock, alternative rock, house music, dance hall, shaba, rap, and R&B. And all of these categories had radio play. Even within rap itself, every artist from every coast had a different sound and style. A Tribe Called Quest did not sound like Wu-Tang Clan, and Wu-Tang Clan did not sound like Mob Deep. From rapper to rapper, from coast to coast, hip-hop was at its most creative and in my opinion at its peak period during the 1990s. From the cartoons, the movies, and the music, everything seemed colorful and filled with life. Positive songs made the airwaves just as much as the more adult-oriented songs did. There was a fine balance in all areas of entertainment at the time. Remember the cereals? the lunchboxes, the toys, everything was intricately designed to capture your attention and imagination. The internet was still in its infancy, so the world wasn't zombified yet by smartphones and tablets. You know, kids still played outside. Water gun fights, water balloon fights, hot and seek, hopscotch, red light, green light, red light, green light. This was definitely a good time to be a kid. We were the last of a bygone era of being socially active instead of being socially in prison. The technology that we had back in the day did not create distance. As a matter of fact, it enforced social cooperation. Video games back in the day were played amongst friends in person. Whether you were a fan of Nintendo or Sega, it didn't matter. Kids would have game night with their buddies to play Mario Kart, Star Fox, Legend of Zelda, or even Shaq Fu. <clears throat> Moving right along, the 90s was truly a special time. Watching Michael Jordan completely dominate the NBA was a sight to behold. Mike Tyson started this decade a little rough, and by 1997, he turned the boxing ring into a public display of human cannibalism. Hey, if you can't beat him, eat him. Speaking of beat, Beat It star Michael Jackson was still in his prime, and still bringing the hits captivating the world with his groundbreaking music videos. So in closing, the 90s was a transitional period. 
The pop culture boom of the 80s ignited a whole new level of entertainment in the 90s. It's slowly dwindling away to a more shock culture industry that we live in today where everybody wants to clout because they don't have the talent to back it up. The internet made it a lot easier for fakers to be famous. The evolution of the internet has took away many valuable, authentic experiences. Tangible experiences. Like going to the video store, movie theaters, toy stores. They're all gone, are on their way out. Everything today is all about streaming until you stream your life away. And that's a topic for another time. Until then, enjoy living in the matrix.